Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Master Mojo Ash. Professor Oak's lab in Pallet Town looks after Pokemon that trainers aren't currently using. These are some of Ash's best being cared for there. Professor Oak's laboratory is a place where the trainers of Pallet Town can send Pokemon to be looked after. The Pokeball storage room is therefore crammed full of Pokemon, something that hasn't escaped the attention of Team Rocket. With the anime still going strong after 23 years, it would be unrealistic for Ash to keep the same Pokemon with each new series, so Professor Oak's lab is a good place for his Pokemon to be sent so that he can call on them if he needs. However, this arrangement does mean that some of Ash's best Pokemon are kept at Professor Oak's lab. So in this video I will show you top 10 best Pokemon Ash keeps at Professor Oak's lab. So be sure to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Number 10. Talonflame. Talonflame was a useful Pokemon for Ash to have in his team. Talonflame's speed, strength, and battle mentality made it a useful Pokemon to have in Ash's team. As well as using Talonflame for scouting, Ash used the Scorching Pokemon in all but one of his gym battles in Kalos. Ash caught Talonflame as a fledgling in a battle of aerial mobility, the third episode of Pokemon the series, Z and left it at Professor Oak's lab before he set off for Lola. Number 9. Pignite developed confidence and self-esteem under Ash before being sent away. Pignite's power came to the forefront after Ash helped him to confront his abusive former trainer, Seamus. It was always low on confidence and having its ability in battle questioned, but Ash showed him the love and care he needed. Without that rebuilding of Pignite's self-esteem, it would have been difficult to send the fire pig away to Professor Oak's lab. Pignite reunited with Ash most recently in The Dream Continues. Number 8. Septa. Septa was the only Pokemon in Sinnoh to beat Darkrai. With its signature twig in its mouth, Septal has always been the essence of cool. Prideful and protective of its fellow Pokemon, Septal was the only Pokemon in the Sinnoh League to beat Darkrai. Ash caused the Wood Gecko Pokemon as a tree to win trees a crown, the seventh episode of the Ruby and Sapphire series, and sent it to Professor Oak's lab before heading off to the Sinnoh region. Number 7. Bayleaf. Bayleaf was left in the lab before Ash went to Hoenn. Bayleaf has always been protective of Ash and is a very affectionate Pokemon. An adept, powerful, and tactical battler, the Leaf Pokemon was jealous and stubborn as a Chikrita but appeared to mellow out after it evolved. It was sent to Professor Oak's lab before Ash left for the Hoenn region. Bayleaf most recently appeared in a flashback in Octogridlock at the gym, the 39th episode of the Pokemon Journeys series. Number 6. Snarlax. Snarlax was sent to the lab after entering a food coma. Ash caught Snarlax in snack attack, when Snarlax was eating everything on the seven grapefruit islands. In Hello, Pumlo, the 111th episode of the anime, with Snarlax not waking up after having eaten, Ash sent it to Professor Oak's lab in exchange for his taut arrows. With the Pokemon said to eat 800 pounds of food every day, one can't help but wonder how and what Professor Oak is feeding the sleeping Pokemon. Number 5. Heracross. Heracross liked Sap but liked battling more. Heracross was a strong and capable fighter for Ash, even if it did have a penchant for wandering off and sucking the sap out of trees, as well as Bulbasaur's bulb. Heracross was sent to Professor Oak's lab in the 146th episode of the anime, Tricks of the Trade, in exchange for one of Ash's taut arrows. Ash has used Heracross on a number of occasions since, his most recent appearance being in The Dream Continues, the final episode of the Black and White series. Number 4. Tortra. Tortra was a terrific team player. Tortra showed bravery, stubbornness, and compassion ever since it was a turtwig. 
Similar to Bulbasaur, when it became a torture of the continent Pokemon was often the mediator in disputes between Ash's Pokemon, so it was a good Pokemon to have on the team in and out of battle. Ash left Torchro with Professor Oak before he went to Anova, and most recently reunited with it, along with many other Pokemon of his, in The Dream Continues. Number 3. Infernape. Infernape was a searing Simeon and Sinah. Infernape is one of Ash's most spirited and determined Pokemon that's currently staying with the Professor. After being mistreated by its previous trainer, Paul, Ash had to slowly build up trust with the flame Pokemon. At one point, it nearly fatally wounded Ash when it lost control after using its Blaze ability, but Infernape turned out to be a strong competitor for Ash in Sinah. He left it with Professor Oak when he decided to go to Anova. Number 2. Charizard. Charizard holds the record for longest time spent with Ash before being sent to the lab. Ash's Charizard is notorious for its disobedience, which culminated in it taking a nap in the Indigo League match with Richie. Eventually, it came around, proving itself to be one of Ash's best Pokemon. Charizard was sent to Professor Oak's lab 788 episodes after Ash caught it as a Charmander in Charmander, the stray Pokemon, episode 11 of the original series, the longest span of time between being caught and being sent to the lab for any Pokemon. Number 1. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur was a huge part of Ash's original team. The mature and serious Bulbasaur was one of Ash's most reliable Pokemon in the original series of the anime. It was sent to Professor Oak's lab in Bulbasaur. The Ambassador, the 225th episode. The seed Pokemon has since reunited with Ash on numerous occasions in different series, its most recent appearance being in the 42nd episode of the Sun and Moon series, Alola, Kanto. Bulbasaur was a stalwart of Ash's team and is one of, if not the best of his Pokemon currently at Professor Oak's lab. Get it back, yeah, cause I ain't never done I'll be number one, working hella 